Hey guys, VVs, and welcome back to another video. And I've just done the treasure trail. No, is it the treasure thing? Um, it, that took over for the Solomon. No, the um, Squeal of Fortune. And I've got some prismatic fallen stars. Going to use all these on divination. Um, now I do really like this sort of um, treasure chest thing instead of um, the Squeal of Fortune. Well, to be honest, there's no real difference. I just love getting all these fallen stars and stuff because, as you see, I've got 237k x like bonus XP on divination to get. So that's going to speed up my XP rates quite dramatically and make it less um less heartbreaking. So you know, I'm kind of just naked standing here, and um, you know, on the topic of divination, I was actually mining the other day, and um, I'm 389k to 99 mining. Um, so this is going to be the last mining vlog. Now I'm going to be getting my stuff and going down to the um, mines right now. Okay, so I'm all ready to go mining. And like I was saying before, um, oh hold on a second, I need to change my bloody um, my thing because I've just got back from. Is this the ability bar? Why is it still loading? Come on, my friend. Yes, monastery. Okay. So yeah, like I was saying just then, I was using my ability bar for the um, for the monthly stronghold um, because. Is it the stronghold? I don't even know what anything is anymore. The bloody what's it called? The thing where you go to Birthorp and then you do the rock, you kill the um creatures and you get like forty odd KX or seventy K in a skill or something. Troll invasion, that's it. I was just I was just running to the bloody thing and I was just I paused the video for a second because I couldn't remember what it was called. But troll invasion, that's the one. I can't remember how much XP I got, but I use it for divination because um it's the only skill that I've really got left to get ninety nine and now I'm now I'm ninety eight agility. But all I need to do is fill up one penance horn and then just train it to um, to 99. So that would be easy, and that would be like 100k XP per hour. So that's going to be really bearable. That's only going to be like um, two days worth of um, training. So let me just hop worlds. But something that's come to my attention recently is the usefulness of divination. Now you know, since I started doing divination, why is my skills screwing up? Okay, so I'm going to use a different approach to the new setup here because I'm recording in. Uh, 1280 by 720 p just for the um, recording normally I record in um, like no normally I'll play in the whole screen so I've got like more you know more screen area to utilize so I can get I don't know just uh, chiller XP's chiller X chiller X now and stuff but I'm um, like I was saying the usefulness of divination is quite useful <laughs> that was pretty stupid but yeah, the usefulness of divination is um, is present, I guess. Not really present. I can't think of the word. If you can think of the word, feel free to put it in the comments. But my English is nowhere near 99. It's about 33 right now. Um, but like I was saying, uh, I was like, I was kind of just um, using my daily challenges because, like I said in the other video, I like I like to buy um, I like to buy some concentrated. No. I like to buy some gold ore, um, like 250 or a thousand or so, because you know the daily challenges you'll get. Um, you mine like 250 gold ore, but you don't just mine it to complete the challenge. You actually have to hand the gold ore in to get the XP, and it's it's well worthwhile. So I thought the best way to combat that was um, instead of mining the ore and banking, I just went and bought it. So it's like 50k or something. Um, it's definitely worth it. So if you're doing if you're mining gold ore, I do highly recommend buying the gold ore and then I'm um, handing that in because it's definitely worth it. Chilla. But when I was doing that trip up to the um, up to Berthorpe, I was handing my XPs in and the ores and stuff. Um, it came to my attention that there were like these little these little pod things. Like I don't know what they're called, but you know in RuneSpan how you've got the um, things you siphon off? It was like one of those, but it was like a yew tree and a magic tree. And I didn't have a clue what the hell that was, um, because you know when it comes to getting XP, all I do is know how to train um, the skill and the best XP an hour, and I just keep doing that. And that's the trap that a lot of a lot of high levels fall into. Um, it could just be me, but I'm just going to say it's a lot of high levels, so I don't look like a complete twat. Um, but yeah, basically the divination, you can use. I don't even know what they're called, but just the gypsy. Okay, I'm going to call them just the gypsy, the gypsy beings. So you can make these gypsy beings out of the energies and the um, supplies. So for example, if I want to make the um, magic tree, you can use the energies and the magic, some like five, I think it's five or six magic logs combined with a few lustrous energies, I think it is. And you can actually make this gypsy being and um, you can siphon, I don't even know if it's siphon, it's collecting or something from it. I don't really know any of these terms because I'm still a rookie. Um, but it's nice having 87 DNA divination. Now, what would really be useful is the Runite Ore because um, I think you need 94 for that. And I, you know, I was having a look. I was having a look in this divination menu. I'm going to quickly go in here one second. I believe it's 94. Yeah, Divine Rune Rock. So it's not the Gypsy Being. It's called Divine. Um, screw it. I'm just going to go with Gypsy Being. But 
it came to my attention, I've said that for the fourth time in this video, but it came to my attention that you need 94 um, divination for the Runite Rock, and that's basically the only useful thing that I can think of right now for getting mining XP, but, um, you know, 385k XP to 99 mining is probably not going to you know, I'm not going to be able to get 94 divination before 99 mining because I'm aiming for 99 mining tonight, and I'll be able to upload the journey to 99 mining. So be looking forward to that. Um, if you if this is like one of the first videos you're watching and and this is like been uploaded like a week ago or so, uh, feel free to check the description for um for that video or um just check out my playlist. It's probably just better just to check out the playlist because in my playlist I've got all the how I series, my progress videos, um the journeys and something else. I don't know, what, there's something else I do there as well, but um, I leave, in every single video I upload, I always leave those four playlists in the description, so if you ever want to um, see how I do something, like for example, um, how I train mining, for example. See how I'm doing the concentrated gold ore right now? I actually uploaded a video two days ago on explaining how I actually do this mining, and um, you know, it's very, very simple, I can see, but there's like, when I was explaining it, a whole bunch of other things popped into my mind as well because you know when you're mining you just get used to it and you just don't really take in well you don't really notice the amount of things you're actually doing it's kind of just muscle memory and you kind of just show up in the mining spot and then you just continue to do it but then when sometimes I've noticed when other people watch you or when you watch someone else um, let's say the situation where I'm watching somebody else they'll be doing something and I don't have a clue what they're doing but for them it's simple it's extremely simple um, and you know it's just muscle memory for them so I've tried to adapt that thought and t hopefully help you guys with, you know, show you guys what I'm doing. Um, now, I'm pretty sure this is pretty, really basic, um, you know, what I'm doing right here. But hopefully, some of you guys didn't really understand what to do. And, you know, hopefully I've helped you out with some sort of, um, in some sort of way. So if you haven't checked that video, be, be, sure to, be sure to check that one out. I'll leave a link to that on screen now. And, um, yeah. But like I was saying, with divination, you know, it's kind of a tedious skill to train, and once I hit 99 mining, I'm going to probably just finish 99 agility, so I've got all the skills looking quite fancy, because if I readjust my skills here, all of these will be 99, and that's what I was going for, because originally when I started going for the max cape, um, I just like the feeling of, obviously, completion. Um, you know, saying, you know, I've maxed in, um, I've maxed all the skills out, and, you know, that's one of the main goals. It's not so much, you know, f well... It's not so much, you know, I log I log on and just have a bunch and bunch of fun mining, and as stupid as that sounds, um, the reason why I do it is just for the goal and for the self, um, for the self achievement, because you know achieving max in RuneScape is some may argue it's a really really easy thing to do, but then others may argue you know it's it's quite a time consuming thing and it costs a lot of it's it um it takes a lot of dedication. Now I've been doing this over about four or five years. Um, now to actually com you know complete this goal of maxing is going to be very very good. Um, for me, and you know, you may argue that it's not, you know, it's quite easy because obviously with mining, 110k XP an hour in, you know, doing gold ore is absolutely ridiculous. That's so so quick. Back in the day, you'd have to be, you'd have to be doing, you know, you have to be out in the desert and you would be mining the granite at like 60, 70k XP an hour, and people would be doing that hard. And you know, I believe it was Suomi that did um, 200 mil mining in the um, in the desert of the granite rocks, and you know. You, Commendation to him as well because you know he's he managed to max everything completely 200 mils so he's the only one to do it and I'd be surprised if someone else manages to do it as well but um you know his self achievement would be quite high as well I'm not quite sure what he's up to now but I think he's done divination and he's just stopped divination now he's only got like 15 mil XP in that skill I think or 20 mil or so I can't remember but he's stopped. Um, I believe he's stopped doing divination now because he's done his he's done his work, and um, I can't blame him for stopping because you know he's he's made history in the RuneScape history books, and I don't blame him to do anything else to be honest. But now I'm just rambling on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary style of video, and uh, if you did, please give it a like and subscribe for future videos. But hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Yes,